Hello again to everybody out there in YouTube world. All right, here we go. Today's video is the top three, I guess my three favorite full tang blades. Um, I gotta tell you, I thought about this for a few weeks. I mean, we got a lot going on in this world. And yet I still made time to think about my top 10. That was a hell of a choice just to pick, or I'm sorry, top three. <laughs> I had a hell of a time picking a top 10. This was a real bitch. Some of these uh, knives you might have seen reviews on, some you haven't. But um, I mean, it was a tough choice, I, I, I do got to say. Uh, first and foremost, been busy the last couple of weeks, haven't done any videos. I'm a first time grandparent. Uh, my daughter Taylor Lynn had a baby girl, seven pounds, nine ounces, Jolie James. And she already stole my heart, man. My wife and I are over the moon with joy. We really are. Today I helped out a bit. I spent about four or five hours over there while my daughter and her, her husband took a nap. I know how that is. And uh, she's a doll. She is a baby doll. So anyway, I, uh, I wanted to get this video done. I have so many knives to review, but I wanted to get this one first and foremost out of the way. All right, my top three, hell of a choice. Let's start with this one. My buck 55. <laughs> Just kidding, actually. This is uh, sort of like my go-to knife. This is the one that, you know, sits close by to me, you know, in the living room on top of the TV. I get a package, wham, wham, you know. This little guy here, it took a lot for me not to order another one. I couldn't find this for about a month and a half. I refused to buy another one because I knew it was around somewhere, but they're so damn small, you can lose this. So I just got new bedroom furniture. I took out the old bed. You know where this was? It was in between my mattress and the old, you know, metal bed frame. I would have never have known that was there. So thank God, thank God I, I cleaned out that bedroom. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you. So my top three. I have seven honorable mentions. Now, back when I got this, we're talking like 10, 12 years ago, people would see me with it, you know, walking my old dog, God bless her soul, Lexi Lou, and uh, it was like the biggest knife, you know, like, oh my God, is that, are you, are you gonna get arrested for carrying that? I'm not walking around the city with it. It's just a nature walks. Everybody said it was so damn big. <laughs> Yeah, it was big, all right. And boy, if times changed. Everybody said that this was the monster. My honorable mentions, number 10, my Buck 124. This is so dear to my heart. Everything about this knife is amazing. Come on, you guys know your Bucks, all right? Everything about it is amazing. I can still smell the leather on that sheath. That is awesome. So there's my number 10 honorable mention, guys. Just want to get that one out of the way. Here we go. Number nine. Did a, rev a review on this a few, uh, about a month or so ago. The Morehouse D2 Steel. Bowie knife. This is my number nine. Such a freaking beast. Look at that tang. Is that not sweet? I've been seeing more and more of these on newer knives. That kind of work right there. This Morehouse knife, it's got the blood groove, D2 steel, 16 inches overall like 11 inch blade oh my god this this definitely uh 
this is definitely a bear. All right, so that's my number nine. You gotta be careful putting these knives back in their sheaths. I'll tell you why. In a minute. Number eight, my Case Double X. Highly recommend for all you knife collectors, if you don't already have this, you got to get yourself one. I don't even know if you're going to want to use it. You're just going to want to stare at it. How gorgeous is this Western 49? Uh, well, the case, you know, double X. I wonder why that's not in my top three. It makes you wonder, well, Christ, if that's number eight, what the hell's in his top three? <laughs> number seven, the Cold Steel Old West. Another beautiful, beautiful work of art. Look at the size of that belly. Look at that guard, brass guard. Cold Steel outdid themselves on this. By the way, I haven't cleaned any of these knives, and, that's, and I have a question about that. For collector's purposes, I mean, I must have, I don't know, 200 knives in there. Maybe more. They're basically all boxed up. I'm waiting to build my man cave. Even when I build my man cave, uh, do you keep them in the sheath? Do you keep them without the sheath, next to the sheath? Do you put the sheath away? What do you do? Tell me, tell me how you guys store your knives. I'd love to hear it. Band-Aid on the finger. My hallway lights out. And I just mentioned about being careful putting knives in sheets. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. My Cold Steel Trail Master. My hallway light blew. And I had this in my hands and I was trying to put it back in its sheath. I'm not a fan of the sheath. But I poked myself by accident in the knuckle, it's, it just slipped. I thought I put it through, it didn't. And I have a nice boo-boo right now. I bled all over the damn, you know, sink. So uh, I got about five band-aids on this and I can still see it's getting a little discolored. I'm hoping I don't need stitches. Look at that spine. This is the San May, San Mai, whatever you guys call it, the Cold Steel Trailmaster. I mean, this thing will take down a forest if you if you are up for the challenge. <laughs> I love this knife. I just don't know if it likes me. This might have made my top three if it had a different sheath. There's nothing wrong with this sheath. I just prefer leather, you know. So sue me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. A lot of you guys own this knife. Come on, this is a classic. The old crocodile Dundee knife. Go ahead, say it. Say it. Come on. What comes to your mind when you see the crocodile Dundee knife? Come on. Say the famous line. I dare you. I dare you. All right. The line I'm thinking of is... How come we made such a... A good first one, but the second one sucked ass. <laughs> anyway, this is my number five. Has never been cleaned. I do need to clean this bad boy. Got to see if I can shine that up a bit. I've had him a long time, very long time. There's not a mark on this blade. This thing is held up through everything. I love my Dundee blade. And I would take it to the Outback with me. There, I wouldn't take anything else other than this. I don't know. That could be a lie. All right. My number fourth. These are all honorable mentions, guys. I just got this. I'm going to be doing a review on it. This is a true 100% authentic kukri knife. Came from Nepal. This thing 
I need some practice with. I played around with it briefly and it actually scares the fuck out of me. Because <laughs> even putting it in and out of the sheath, you have to know what you're doing. You'll cut your goddamn arm off. Look, it even comes with the two little sidekicks. See? Two sharp little bastards. All right? Oh, Lord. I'm putting this at my number four. This might make it in my top three until I know and learn how to use it correctly. But uh, this is called the Kukri House Extreme Max. Or Kukri House Max Extreme. Or Kukri Max House Extreme. You know what I mean. Go to KukriHouse.com and check it out. I'm going to be doing a review on it real soon. Uh, as I said, I just don't want to lose a limb, so I got to learn how to, you know, cut cut with it correctly. Um, if you don't own one, it's not like you're dealing with a normal, like, you know, hunting knife. This is a little different, different swings. So, uh, this is my number four, soon to be in my top three. Let's see, can I cut my fingers off on live TV? <laughs> All right, let's not do that. My top three. Guys, I had to put the Hen and Rooster 00, HR0008. I had to do it. Look at that gorgeous sheath. Look at that gorgeous blade. That German stainless. Oh, Lord. They use the best quality stag for the handles in the world. This thing is gorgeous. I've used it, never cleaned it. I didn't really put it through hell because he's just so, so pretty. You know, I've seen other people put him through hell and they still look just like this. Matter of fact, all these knives do. I've seen reviews on all these. People like Donnie B all day. I think he's done a review on every one of these <laughs> and they still look like they're brand new. But anyway, my hen and rooster is my number three. The sheath is insane. It's just gorgeous. Piece of art. Piece of art. My number two, I was sold on this a few years ago. It took me a long time to save up for it. And I finally got it from the movie Seraphim Falls. The Mula Magnum 26. D2 steel, I believe. Oh my god, this sheath is this sheath is so so beautiful. I love that little belt there. You know, the little buckle. In case of an emergency, ain't got time for that shit. But still. Look at him. If you've seen the film, Pierce Brosnan, he puts this thing through hell. He put it through the ringer. So if I was actually out in the, you know, you know, the West, the Wild West, out in the mountains or Colorado, whatever, and I needed a good hunting knife, <laughs> I'm taking this bad boy with me. Look at that, look at that spine on him. It's even got that cool ass medallion back there. Totally love, totally love this knife. Most people keep it as a wall hanger. Not I, cried the wolf. You know, all this time I thought that was a wolf on the medallion. I think they're like, it's like a wild boar or something. Uh, my eyes suck ass. But uh, anyway, love it. Love it. Love it. So that's my number two, guys. My number one best full tang knife is not from this world. It comes from a land far away. It was custom made just for me, per my specs. Also from the Kukri House. The Kukri Bowie Knife. This thing not only has one of the most beautiful sheaths I've ever seen in my entire life or felt. It's got some sort of wood in there. This thing is 
gorgeous. That's actually the same uh, sheath they use for the Kukri knife itself. But this is the Kukri Bowie knife. I've done a review on this before. Haven't cleaned it, put it through hell. When I'm taking the dogs through my, my longer walks through the, you know, the woods in the park, uh, you know, across the creek, dealing with uh, deer, rabbits, coyotes, uh, this is my bad boy right here. And I use a shoulder. I have a handmade uh, shoulder harness I use for it, you know. Uh, it's kind of concealed. I have it. I have it. I have it rigged up pretty nice. You know, it kind of sits like this, and this straps to like a belt loop. And uh, this guy is amazing. It's got the hammer end. That right there. Just getting whacked in the skull with that isn't going to be any fun, right? <laughs> this is my ultimate full tang survivor knife right here. Now, I lied and I said that I would actually, you know, take my my mule out into the wild. And I still think I'm going to go with this. I got to go with this. And to my friend Donnie B all day, I really want you to get a hold of this. I mean, you, you can do justice on your reviews. He's the best knife reviewer on the planet. Uh, Donnie B all day. Check it out. But he, I, I wish, I might just have to send this out to him and say, dude, do a review. <laughs> but um, I highly recommend this. Look at that, look at that, look at that spine. I, can, I can't put it down. I can't put it down. Oh, absolutely stunning. All right, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed me. I'm going to go put these bad boys away. I'm going to have a slice of pizza. And I'm going to be done for the night. Really. I watched, uh, I watched the baby today while my daughter and her husband slept. For just four or five hours. She's a joy. And uh, I'm kind of woke now. I'm beat. So um, I haven't changed diapers in quite some time. But still. Life is good. Life is good. Until next time, let's be careful out there. All right? I hope you guys enjoyed my top three slash ten all-time full tang blades. It was a hell of a, hell of a choice. You know, one day, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you them all. Show you every one of them. All right? Be prepared for, you know, an hour-long video. But um, uh, I did have questions out there. How do you guys store your knives? All right? Let me know. Take care. Be careful out there.